We're going to do a warm up now. We're going to start on our back. So if you lay down onto the mat, place your legs out long in front of you. Bring your arms beside you. From here, we want to make sure that our feet, our knees and our hips are still in full alignment. So ankles, knees and hips are stacked. From here, pull your spine nice and long along the mat. Roll those shoulders round, down and away from the ears. Lift your chin off the chest and imagine there's a piece of string pulling you backwards. From here, we're going to do our pelvic tilts now. So from your neutral spine, we're going to push that pelvis back so we flatten that back from your hips to your shoulders. We're then going to tilt it all the way through so you have an arch off the floor. And again, tilting back, taking it through. Good. And again, pushing back to the floor and opening it out, a nice arch off the ground. Just warming up that pelvis, starting to warm up that core area as well. Last time and find your neutral spine. You shouldn't be overarched, shouldn't be too flat, just a nice natural curvature. Into your breathing now, place your hands over your rib cage, close your eyes as we focus on our breath. We're looking for that lateral thoracic breathing, which is breathing into that rib cage, not into that abdomen. So take a deep breath in through the nose, and then out through the mouth. Closing that rib cage down and again, deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Remember we're looking for that purposeful breath as you breathe out through the mouth. One last time. Good, raising your left foot off the floor now. We're just gonna rotate that ankle round. Rotating round and reverse the other way. Just warming up the ankles, warming up those feet. Bend that knee now, we're gonna circle from the hip. So keep the leg in that nice bent position, draw that circle in the sky or your ceiling with your knee and reverse the other way. Good, try and keep the other hip on the floor and just make sure the movement's coming from your hip, just warming up those hips and that pelvis. Good, draw that knee in nice and tight to the body, stretching those hip flexors. Good, and straight the leg, and draw it in once more, and away. One last time, pull it in nice and tight, Good, and rest that left leg on the floor. We're gonna lift the right leg now. We're gonna circle that foot around. So circling that foot all the way around and reverse the other way. Good, same thing, bend that knee and we're gonna circle from the hip. Again, drawing that circle with your knee in the air and reverse and take the other way. You may find that one side feels easier than the other as you are circling around. Good, draw it back to the center. Draw that knee in nice and tight to the body. Really draw it in tight so we're stretching out this area here. And we're gonna stretch that leg away, waking it up now, draw it in and stretch away. One last time, drawing in that knee, stretching it away. Good, 
bringing the arms up now. We're going to take one arm over our head, the other down to our hips, and we're going to scissor those arms. So bringing them up and over. Try and keep them as close to the body as you can, stretching out through those fingertips as we warm up those shoulders. Really stretching long. Good, and now increase that tempo. Fantastic. Excellent. And then bring them back to the center. From here, we're gonna bend at the elbows, draw the thumbs down towards the face. We're gonna take them over and down to the side, drawing them back in. And again, take them out and bring them in. Good, keep going. Taking them out as far as you can and drawing them back to the top and again. We're working these shoulders in all the different directions. This helps to stretch out the chest a little bit as well as we drop those arms to the side. One more time and relieve the hands on the floor. We're gonna bring the first palm over and down and we're just going to rotate from the elbow. So, rotating into our toy soldier. Good. Again, you might find that one side you're able to go fully palm down and the other side that you're unable to, which just shows a little bit of a tightness, a little bit of restriction. Good. Excellent. One more. Bring them both palm down. Bring them down beside you. Place your feet a little bit closer to the body, bending those knees now. We're just going to go into a little bit of a shoulder bridge, which just helps to release and work that spine, waking up that spine as we go. And again, imprint and lift. Good. Coming down. Keep going, and again. One more time. Excellent, holding it there. We're gonna drop the right knee out to the side now. Keep the left knee facing upwards. Just take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allow that leg to just drop a little bit further to the side. Good, stretching out this area here along your leg. Bringing it back, other side, deep breath in. And exhale and lower. Again, being really mindful to keep the other leg nice and still throughout. Deep breath and allow it to drop again. Drawing back to the top. We're going to drop the knees over to the right now. We're going to take the arms over to the left, really working through that spine, giving it a nice twist and release. into your chest now and if you need to just a nice roll on that lower back area excellent and you're done